something a little different today. Uh, we're delivering a beautiful piece of furniture that I just completed and I want to get into more of the business uh, aspect of what we do rather than just the upholstery and what presentation. Uh, when you do a fine job, um, I know a lot of upholsterers who get to this point and they, and they don't wrap the furniture for instance or their presentation isn't that great, although the work could be spectacular. They just don't have that follow through. So I want to show you what the follow through means before you put the plastic on. And you are going to put plastic on all your furniture, whether it's going to rain or not. It says nothing to do with it. I've had, I've, I've known people who've gotten dirt on, you know, on, on the piece that wasn't uh, covered on a beautiful clear day. So let's go. The first thing, I'm going to do the final. I've already done at least three quality control checks on this sofa. I'm going to do my final one. And actually it's a hand check, folks. Okay, I'm going to go over the whole thing with my hands to make sure there are no tacks or any type of debris uh, anywhere. And I'm gonna run my hand, this is very important, along the base, okay, both on the front and on the bottom, just to see if there are any loose tacks. I'm gonna go all the way around, you can meet me on the other side if you want. I'm gonna run my hand all the way around. And but I'm gonna, by the time I'm done, my hand, my clean hand, is gonna touch every square inch of this sofa, okay. I just did that just quickly you don't have to you don't have to do it doesn't have to be an hour so when I'm looking at this now I, I'm, I'm completely happy with this so now I'm gonna cover it um, it's a nice day today my son and I are gonna be delivering this and you're gonna come along for the ride and I have a couple of tips on how to deliver a piece of furniture to your client believe it or not in my estimation if you do this properly the presentation you can get 25 to 50 percent more than your competitor because it shows that you care about your furniture. Presentation is everything. You notice how my white shirt on today. Make sure that I'm clean. Also, it gives your customer confidence that you're the best. You're the best around. When we're in the van going over to the customer's house, we'll talk more about about the wearing a piece of furniture, but. Uh, I'm going to have Patrick walk out after I tape this down to show the van. I'm going to tape this down so the wind doesn't blow it off. Seeing that, people delivering something in the rain, and I, I see the plastic blows off, and they might as well not, not have covered it. So you can secure it. So what I'm doing here, when I come around, you'll be able to see. I'm actually wrapping the plastic around the legs to ensure that a wind doesn't take this up. Look at that. See that? That little thing right there can save a very expensive job. So this is ready to go. I'm gonna have Patrick walk out to show him a clean van, what a clean van looks like. Oftentimes when you pull up to a client's house, they're waiting for you and they see you're inside of your van. You don't want Coke cans or pets in your, in your van. And there's Pamela. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the clean bed. So uh, Pat just got to give me a hand now, loading up the love seat. Let's go, Pat. So we also package our cushions separately in separate plastic instead of putting it on the piece and then having the piece be turned up and then having the cushions fall out. It's always a smart idea. So I'm going to load this. There's actually two pieces to this job. There's another sofa that I did. By the way, this is a beautiful tufted, diamond tufted sofa. Uh, the other one is inside. I'm gonna bring the cushions for that. And, and uh, so the next time we go out, we'll only have to deliver the, the sofa. Now I could fit both of these pieces in here, but I will not turn up the other one on top of this one or vice versa because this has wood. My van isn't big enough. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make two separate trips. Okay. okay, here we are on the delivery. Um, the delivery is about, I think it's about seven miles from the shop. And I offered, um, you know, as a free pickup and delivery on this job. And the reason I did that was based on the amount of work uh, this customer gave me. And also sometimes when you offer free pickup and delivery, you can get the job. Sometimes people are on the border, they're on the fence about uh, doing the job. They have a certain amount of money in mind that they want to spend and if you offer that i find it's, it could be the last you know little tidbit and they they agree to that so um, i don't mind going the seven miles today 
Um, but, um, you know, obviously I'm going to be on time. It's another thing. Uh, people, uh, when you say you're going to be somewhere at 3.30, be there at 3.30. Don't keep people waiting. Constant contact, right? So, um, yeah, so when we get to the house, I'll, I'll have some more things to say, or maybe along the road we'll, we'll talk a little bit more. So before I get to the house, I want to make sure that the load didn't shift. So I actually, um, I'm going to check it. I'm going to uh, get out of the van and make sure that everything looks good. Um, just one final time. Because, um, instead of being, uh, let's say it did shift and you hit a leg, you broke a leg or, or something. Uh, at least you don't embarrass yourself in front of the client. Uh, you can go back to the shop, call the client and... Uh, Tell me you had a problem and, and reschedule. It's better than embarrassing yourself when you get to the house. So I'm actually going to go look. Should I shift a little bit? Now I, I usually will tie it down also, um, or put um, a cloth underneath. I thought this was a pretty big piece that didn't really move that much, and we weren't going far. But as a precaution, maybe um, on any piece of furniture, you just put. If you put some cloth underneath, um, it won't move. Okay, but it looks pretty good. Let's go. Now we're here at the customer's house. <laughs> And it's, it's not going to be going inside for now because they don't, don't know quite where they want to put it. But just to show you that it's safe and sound, the plastic's still on it, and it's ready to go in. And so, mission complete. <laughs> <laughs>